I felt like if I wore no makeup with this hair, I looked like... You would look like one of those girls that have Jack Skellington tattooed on their arms. Alex, stop being judgmental! You're either gonna love this or hate this. It looks like clownish. Do you guys like the green? You can be very honest. It's different. Wait. Alicia hates it. I actually woke up not feeling good about myself. As you can see, my extensions aren't in. It's definitely getting to me. It literally looks like I broke a glow stick. Hey guys. So I'm really excited about this video that I filmed for you guys this past week. So if you guys see by the title, it says I tried green hair for a week, which is exactly what I did. So if you guys have watched my videos before, it's not new news, I'm always into colored hair. I've had actually blue hair for going on three years. Usually it's lighter, but I'm going with this dark teal for fall. You know, I kind of wanted to do one of these weekly challenges, but really push my boundaries as far as like makeup, style, and confidence. It takes some balls to wear green hair as a girl, or at least I think. So when I think of green, I think of Shrek, which is grass. Not really like anything that's like super glamorous. Green isn't a common makeup color. A lot of people don't wear green on their eyes or on your lips or as blush. Like there's, green isn't a common beauty color. I really wanted to like challenge myself with this color. I remember seeing last year this trend of green hair around Halloween time and fall time. And weirdly, I was into it. And I've been talking about this green hair for about a year now. And I just remember bringing it up to like my boyfriend or my twin sister and they both were like, are you crazy? Why would you ever dye your hair green? And once you see a photo, like it's kind of cute, but it's kind of not, I don't know. When I was little, I had I have two sisters. I have an older sister and a twin sister. My parents would ask us what our favorite colors were. My older sister would say purple. My twin sister would say blue. And I would say green. So every time there was a birthday or a holiday like Easter, my Easter basket was lime green. The wrapping paper on my birthday gifts was lime green. And then as I got older, I kind of just like grew out of green. You know, green is, is still in there, deep in there. It, it roots back to when I was a kid. So going into this challenge, I didn't know if I was gonna fall in love with green again or if I was just gonna totally want nothing to do with the color green because I was worried I was gonna be sick of it. You're either gonna love this or hate this, so um, I'm putting in green extensions today. So day one, I had full glam. I was going to a Halloween party in New York City. I had someone doing my hair, my makeup. I had a really dope outfit. It was a themed Halloween party. Hey guys, really cool news. I am in New York City for the launch of Sinful Colors. They have a nail polish line specifically for Halloween. I'm hosting a Halloween party and it's coven themed. It's like witchcraft themed. So I was super excited and really confident because obviously when a professional's doing your hair and a professional's doing your makeup and you're going to a Halloween party, obviously it's one gonna look dope and obviously you're gonna fit in at a Halloween party with green hair. So. The least of my worries was my confidence. They, they're going from <laughs> teal to an actual green. I'm so excited. I feel like if Gabby saw this, Gabby would be like, why? <laughs> she would? <laughs> Straight up. And I'm wearing a suit today, like a suit. I'm so excited. I think day one was my favorite with the green hair. I am all ready to go to the event. This is my makeup. I have a moon and I have a dope smoky eye. I also have two nose studs. That's cool. I got my nails done. Boom. And then this is my outfit from Alex and Olivia. This was a last minute find and it is adorable. I'm loving this whole look and I hope you guys like the green hair as much as I do because green actually was my first favorite color as a kid. Bringing back some green and I feel like I never talked about that before. I'm kind of giving myself vibes, Kim Possible, like the evil one. Kim Possible? No, like the evil, the nemesis or like the evil girl, like the green and the black hair girl. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm running behind and we're all going to go to the party. So we are at the party. It's so spooky. Oh my god, are these really holding nail polishes? Guys, look at this. I think I have that one on my nails. Day two. 
I didn't have a hairstylist or a makeup artist or anyone to make me look good. So it was on me to look good with this green hair. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I'm back in LA and I'm trying this whole thing you know, having green hair. As you guys can tell, I don't have any makeup on. My hair isn't really that styled. It's just kind of slept in and waves um, from the night before. But I'm not feeling it as much as I was yesterday. I feel like at the party when I had these in for the first time, I had my makeup done, I had my hair done, I had a dope outfit. It was all a look. And I feel like now that I'm on my own and I don't have people doing my hair or makeup, like, do I like the green hair as much? I don't know. My older sister's actually on her way to pick me up. We are gonna go shopping at Dolls Kill, which is our favorite store, and they have a lot of cute stuff for Halloween, so I wanna get some stuff to match my green hair, but I'm just hoping I find stuff that matches the green hair because I never thought about it. What do you wear when you have green hair? I don't know, that's why you're watching this video. We shall see. Okay, I'm gonna try to look somewhat presentable. Bronzer on bronzer on bronzer because I have no pigment in my skin. Repping them pale girls. We run the world. This just broke. I'm gonna deal with that later because I got five minutes. Eyebrows, 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 important. Okay, I don't think my hair looks as bad now that I have some makeup on. I'm actually kind of feeling it again. So, time to go shopping and see if I can get some cool outfits to go with my hair and my sister's here, and she's downstairs calling the Uber, so let's go. I was worried about what she was gonna think. So what do you think about the green hair? I actually like it. You like it? No, but you know me, I'm supportive. Even when you did the prank of like chopping all your hair off, I was like, I'm down with this. <laughs> Insert clip. <laughs> Look what I did to my hair. <laughs> I really thought it was cool. I mean, look, I chopped all my hair off. I got sick of it. She loves the green hair. Actually, I'm not surprised. I kind of feel like she vicariously lives through me because she's an actress and she can't dye her hair all these types of colors like I can. It was so like hard getting ready, Alex. You don't understand. I think it took me longer to get ready. You were pissing me off. I think it was taking me longer to get ready because I felt like if I wore no makeup with this hair, I looked like... You would look like one of those girls that have Jack Skellington tattooed on their arms. Alex, stop being judgmental! <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I look like I like was the Enchantress from Suicide Squad. Like, without makeup, like... <laughs> Me without makeup, I have under eye circles and I'm pale with green hair. Like, that was like witch vibes. We go to Doll's Kill and both of us are shopping for fall Halloween clothes and... I'm realizing it's really difficult shopping with green hair. So with blue hair, complementary colors look really nice with it. So like warm tones and oranges. But with green hair, if you wear yellow, yellow and green don't look good. So I found something really cute. But I feel like those colors wouldn't go with green. So I'm actually having some issues. If you wear orange, orange and green look like a carrot. If you wear red, red and green looks like Christmas. I could not figure out a good color combination of clothes to buy to match my green hair. These mustard auctions and I feel like nothing is going to go with them. Mustard and green remind me of like my old school colors when I was in like kindergarten, so I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? I have this dope nude set. I feel like the neon green is gonna look really cool with my green hair. I don't know about you guys, but I'm straight up feeling myself. <laughs> Does oh this my even God. go? You seem very aggressive. I, I don't so I ended up buying a lot of black, white. <laughs> I feel like this green hair and this beanie are making me feel way cooler than I really am in real life. I feel like I look like a boy. Can we look at me for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so day three. I made plans with my YouTube friends to go to Halloween Horror Nights. Hey guys, so next day, I ended up getting some really cute stuff at Dolls Kill that I'm actually wearing tonight. I'm going to Halloween Horror Nights with a ton of YouTube girls that I'm close with. Alright guys, so my extensions are in. 
All right, so this is my finished outfit. I got this from Dolls Kill. I love the neon because I feel like it goes really good with the green. And then I found this from LF in my closet and I feel like it really, you know, you can never go wrong with white. I feel like it goes good with all these dark colors I'm wearing because I feel like if I were black, I feel like it'd be too much for me. I'm also wearing these like black high-waisted bottoms because I feel like it ties in with the hat. I wanted to wear this one shirt. I obviously wanted to dress to impress. I haven't seen my friends in a while and Halloween Horror Nights is like one of my favorite things in the world. I was having some issues figuring out what to wear. I wanted to wear this mustard yellow shirt that I got from Dolls Kill the day before, but it just wasn't working with the green air. I bought this at Dolls Kill because mustard, as you guys know, is one of my favorite colors to wear when I have blue hair. I don't think it goes with the green hair. Yeah, I don't think it does. Like, it looks like clownish. <laughs> Damn it! And as far as makeup goes, I just did a Nikki smoky eye because I feel like when I don't wear makeup with this hair, I straight up look like the Enchantress from Suicide Squad. So we're running a little late. We're gonna go to Alicia's and then we're gonna go meet up with everybody at Universal. Hey guys! Hey! So we're at Horror Night. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> What do you think about the green hair and the outfit? Like, does it match? No, it matches perfectly. What do you think about the green hair? I like it. You can rock any color. I never thought I'd find a guy that genuinely said he liked me with green hair. I've only ever known you with known you with color hair. So it's normal. I've never seen you with brown hair. Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> so I'm like vlogging my like week with this hair. Oh yeah. What are the thoughts? Honest, you can say it's ugly. I personally like Nikki with like darker hair so I feel like it looks more like yeah. it makes your eyes pop more. I personally like it. What? Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's your vibe. It's like the dark edgy. Yeah. It's like I don't look like Shrek or like a witch. No. You look good. very Halloween. Perfect. Yeah. Day four, I wanted to challenge myself beyond fashion. It is the next day and Horror Nights was so amazing. I literally bought this Stranger Things merch because it's Stranger Things themed and that's my favorite show, as you guys know. I feel like that just totally put me in the Halloween spirit. Anyways, my hair today is kind of inspiring me a little bit. The first day of this challenge, Sinful Colors did my nails, but I do have many more nail polishes from them. I've been looking at these colors recently and I kind of want to change up my nails. So I'm going to do my own nails today. I'm in my office. These three nail polishes are from the Sinful Colors Conjured Colors collection. This color is Spellbound. I'm going to be mixing Spellbound with Powerful Potion and I'm going to use black on black on top. So my postmate just brought me my Starbucks. I hate when they give you a big straw and a small drink. It like ruins the experience. Actually, wait, this is convenient. This is so appealing. Another cotton ball. This is like sticking. <laughs> I think instead of mixing these together, I want to like blob them on to look like spray paint. I actually really like how it turned out. I think that purple and green actually go really well together. It gives me like a spooky vibe. I finally figured something out to go with this hair. Purple. I think purple, green, and black look really good together. So I started my nails at noon, and it is now 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm done, but it's like five hours later, and I'm obsessed with my nails. I basically have a spider web, this says boo. Um, I have a spider, and then on this hand I have spider webs. I have an N, because my name's Nikki. I have a ghost, and then I have the outline of a head of a cat, because cats, black cat, Halloween. I love this and now I'm just like excited to just 
wear my new clothes with this hair, wear my nails with this hair, but I definitely want to try out makeup, um, and I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Day five, Alicia had a get together at her house with a ton of YouTube girls, and this time I'm seeing more YouTubers that I haven't seen in a while. So obviously, like, a girl wants to look good, but my hair was starting to get really dry and almost kind of fried. That is something to note when you do have colored hair. These fun colors are not permanent whatsoever. You actually are told not to wash your hair to keep the color pigmented and vibrant. I had a lot of product in my hair from day one up until this point. So it's the next day and I didn't really vlog today because as you can see, I've been very, very lazy. But I am going to Alicia soon. Over time, these extensions have gotten really dry from all the product and styling. I don't know if you look closely, it's just it doesn't have a good texture anymore. And instead of washing my hair because I didn't want to strip the color, I decided just to wet my hair and condition it a little bit before I went to Alicia's. There is green everywhere. Another good thing to know, when you have colored hair and you actually wash it, it gets everywhere. I have an all white bathroom, white curtain, white tub, and I have to clean this up straight up. It like dyes your bathroom. It literally looks like I broke a glow stick. Um, so I had to put my hair as quickly as I could into this like towel turban. I'm trying to like clean up though. Like it got everywhere. Hey guys. Hey guys, so I'm at Alicia's and my hair dried really cool and I'm kind of digging it, but I don't know. Do you guys like the green? You can be very honest. I mean, I will say it's different. Wait. Alicia hates it. I just love the blue better. I actually really love the green. I love the green. Really? Yeah, I love the green. I feel like it's like very artsy. It's like super artsy. Like if you saw me, am I like unapproachable? No. You actually look cool. so good. I feel like poison ivy. It's like poison ivy. It's poison ivy. It's perfect for October too. It's like Halloween time. But yeah, we're all just like talking YouTube right now. And we're all just, oh, we have tea, so I have to turn this camera off. <laughs> and we're gonna get back to discussions. Okay. Okay guys, so we came up with a squad name tonight. We are the, the Valley, Valley Girls. Girls. And it's true cool too, so. Cause we're all from the Valley. Literally. We love. We expect more vlogs. We just renamed our group chat and we're all vlogging. Day six. We're nearing the end of this challenge. I actually woke up not feeling good about myself. The cool yet hard part about weekly challenges is that, you know, there are those days throughout the week where we don't feel our best. And I woke up just kind of like not feeling my best. As you can see, my extensions aren't in, but I definitely want to say this is the point where it's definitely getting to me filming myself every day for a week. Um, I'm not a daily vlogger, but these week-long challenges definitely like get to you a little bit. Kind of having an ugly day and I'm just like kind of unmotivated and I don't feel like putting in my green hair extensions because that's not going to make me feel any more pretty. But it's part of the challenge. I gotta get up, I gotta put them in, and I gotta go about my day with this hair. Okay, so I'm gonna get up, get ready. Fix this hair. I did not want to do my makeup. I did not want to put in hair extensions, I, especially green hair. I did not feel like trying extra hard with my look. I just wanted to lay in bed and just like be lazy and not put on makeup. But I did tell myself as a part of this challenge, I really wanted to try makeup. So I got my little booty up and I tried out some makeup. All right guys, so I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> I did my hair. I did my face makeup. I'm actually baking right now, but I want to try out some eyeshadows with this hair. I love all the colors, but I've really been wanting to try out this corner where there's like dark green and teal, but I also really want to try out this palette, and I really like these colors. This electric color, I don't know if you guys can like see it, it matches my nails. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to Play around. I'm gonna see how all these colors look with the green. I think I'm gonna try green eyeshadow actually. Do 
you guys see this? Oh my god. So I'm done with my makeup and I really like that this challenge has made me completely push my boundaries. I feel like I would have never done green eyeshadow, but I am so in the Halloween spirit right now. I got my iced Starbucks apple cider. By the way, you guys should totally get it if you guys have never gotten it. I have my green hair and my green shadow and I have my Dolls Kill Bite Me shirt. It literally says bite me on it. I am feeling myself. Here's a close up. Makeup inspired by my nails. So today is day seven of the challenge and I like to do day sevens as recaps. One, I think I fell back in love with the color green. I think it's number two, I think it's totally underrated. I've technically have only had two hair colors my whole life and I feel like this challenge showed me I can pull off more colors than I realized. A lot of my friends told me they actually liked the green. I actually like it. I mean, I will say it's, it's different. different. I actually really love the green. I love the green. But the cons of this challenge was that I didn't think I looked genuinely pretty unless I had makeup on because green hair is such a hard color to pull off and I'm naturally pretty fair. I have under eye circles and I look very washed out a lot of the time. And unless I had a full dark eye makeup look or full glam, I didn't feel my best. But when I did have full glam, I felt so hot and so confident. So I guess I'm gonna end the video on the note with, I love the green hair, but I had to have full glam to feel really good in it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a little different. I wanna start doing these weekly challenges more, so seriously comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.